I did manage to find a couple of treasures that I'm going to share, share with you. And the thing about charity shops that I like is that you don't know what to expect when you go there. So. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are fine. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. And if you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I have been to the charity shops, finally! Um, England has been out of lockdown for almost two weeks now and oh it's so sad to see some of the stores and shops that are not reopening and yeah it's quite difficult actually to see all that. Um, you know the town centre is not as vibrant as it used to be as far as the shops are concerned but you know there are people that are around and about now and um, the charity shops, oh, the queues to get in. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, there's one or two, I, 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 the queues are just so long. Um, maybe because I'm so eager to, to, to find, you know, some nice things in which I could do projects with. And um, there's, there, there's one mainly that I think the queue is that long. And only, not only that, within England, more often than not, charity shops are quite small, so the max, I suppose the minimum was about three I think that was allowed in a shop, and another one that I go to, there's about six, that was the minimum, that, that, that's the maximum I should say. Um, so yeah, the numbers are quite small and there are queues, and obviously there's going to be queues because we've only just kind of come out of lockdown for now, so, um, but I did manage to find a couple of treasures that I'm going to share, share with you. And the thing about charity shops that I like is that you don't know what to expect when you go there, it's such random things, so my projects are going to be quite random, but I've got some interesting stuff, um, so I'm going to share with that, show you that now. So I've got this skirt, and here it is. It's got a coating on it, it's quite waxy. Um, I'm drawn to it maybe because I'm thinking that I'll probably do a bag out of this. Um, I can imagine making another refashioning it to a garment to be worn, but with a bag, a uh, clutch of some kind, that is possible. So I've got that. I've got this t-shirt, so it's a navy blue t-shirt with white stripes. I do have some interesting buttons that are the round buttons with a white stripe going through it, so I'm hoping to figure out how I'm going to design that into this, but that'd be interesting, so I definitely do want to use those buttons because I've got quite a few. Um, I have a white jacket here, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be making off my mind an alternate kind of top we will see it's 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 big so i'm gonna have to be careful how i do this actually so that I, it does look well fitted and i do have another jacket i love this this powder blue this this is this fits me this is fine um i don't know what i'm going to do with this though but i think it's something sounds fine i love this this top this navy blue top with all these holes, like a bronglet anglaise kind of thing that's happening. Um, as soon as I saw this, I thought sleeves, so I'll take it, I'll take this apart and then do I have a blue t-shirt? I think I do. I have to look into my um, stash of uh, charity things, but that'll definitely be sleeves. It's quite interesting. It's lined, so um, I'm, I won't be lined. I don't think so anyway. So that. This was an interesting find. I do have this top. It's longer. This is quite short. So I'm hoping that I will make something to complement that, complement the longer top. And I saw these shorts. Um, the different, two different shades of green. But I'm hoping that I will put those together to make something. I'm going to have to get my sketchbook out and start sketching some ideas I think yeah quite interested to see what I'll do with that and this off the shoulder top this gingham it's red applique effect on here it's quite interesting to make a little top out of that and I have a white top 
that jumper, I should say. And the thing that drew me to this was the pocket. And yeah. I haven't got any ideas right now. That's popping into my mind. I think it's because of the warm weather. It's affecting my brain. <laughs> um, and then finally, I've got this pink. Ooh, this is looking really fuchsia pink on camera, but it's not. The colour in the camera um, looks really gorgeous, actually. Vibrant pink. Um, but it's a gold skirt, which has, again, a plique and a little bit of sequin detailing on there. First thing I think is going to be some kind of statement sleeves. It's probably what I'll do with that. So that's it. That is what I managed to get on my first trip to the charity shop since we have come out of lockdown in England. And yeah, um, so this is gonna be quite interesting. I'm quite eager actually to actually start some of this. So um, if you have any comments or queries, then please put those in the comment box below. If you have any ideas of anything that you want me to make with this, then please do join CGL membership because there you'll definitely be able to have an input and I would make sure that I do that video for you and yeah like I said if you've got any comments or queries and please put those in the comment box please do share this video with your friends and on your social media platforms and I will see you next time <laughs>